Educational History of Dinosaurs. Narrated by Diego. Hi, I'm Diego. Today I want to take you on a very, very special trip. We're not going to use a plane, a train, or a boat, we're going to travel back in time, many millions of years ago. Can you imagine a world without people, without cars, without buildings? Well, that's what the Earth was like when enormous and amazing animals called dinosaurs lived there. Make yourself comfortable, because we're going to meet them. More than 65 million years ago, the Earth was a place filled with volcanoes, dense jungles, wild rivers, and very different skies. Instead of humans, what walked here were giant creatures with strong legs, long tails, and some with enormous teeth. Dinosaurs lived on this world for a very long time, and they came in all sizes and shapes. Some dinosaurs were gigantic and strong, like the famous Tyrannosaurus rex, which could measure up to 12 meters and had a large head with sharp teeth. But not all were so fearsome. There were many dinosaurs that were calm and ate only plants, like the Triceratops, which had three horns on its head and a neck with a shield-like shape, or the very tall Brachiosaurus. Some dinosaurs ate meat and are called carnivores. They used their sharp teeth and claws to hunt other animals. Others, on the other hand, ate only plants and are called herbivores. They had flat teeth, ideal for chewing leaves, branches, or fruit. That's why some dinosaurs had beaks like parrots or long necks to reach the treetops. Each had a different way of foraging for food. Brachiosaurus was one of the tallest dinosaurs that ever existed. It had a neck so long that it could effortlessly reach the leaves of the tallest trees. It walked slowly, with its long, strong legs, and was so large that not even carnivorous dinosaurs dared to disturb it. It was like a living tower in the middle of the forest. The Triceratops was strong, with a large, horned head and bony armor that protected it like a helmet. Although it didn't attack others, if it felt threatened, it lowered its head and used its horns to defend itself. It lived in groups with other Triceratops and ate ground-dwelling plants like ferns and shrubs. And the one everyone knows, the most feared of all, Tyrannosaurus rex, or T. rex. It walked on two legs, had small arms, but a jaw so powerful it could break bones with its bite. Despite its fame, it didn't run as fast as we think, and some scientists believe it also ate dead animals if it was hungry. Did you know that some dinosaurs had feathers? Yes, even though they couldn't fly, they had tiny feathers covering them like giant chicks. Over time, some evolved and became what we know today as birds. So the next time you see a rooster, a pigeon, or a baby bird, remember that they might be the great-great-grandchildren of a dinosaur. Dinosaurs didn't all live in one place. Some species lived in deserts, others preferred tropical forests, and some roamed vast plains. They lived in what are now the Americas, Asia, Africa, Europe, and even in places now covered by ice. The world was their big home. In the sky, creatures flew that looked like dinosaurs but weren't quite. Pterosaurs, like the Pteranodon, had large wings and long beaks. They glided with the wind and hunted fish in rivers and seas. They weren't true dinosaurs, but they lived at the same time as them and shared the same sky. And deep in the sea swam giant creatures like the Plesiosaur, with its long neck and fins that allowed it to glide underwater like a dolphin. Although they weren't dinosaurs either, they lived alongside them and also disappeared when the great change occurred on Earth. They were like sea monsters of the past. Dinosaurs were born from eggs, just like birds. Some mother dinosaurs took great care of their nests, and when the babies hatched, they stayed close to their parents until they learned to forage for food and protect themselves. Some were so tiny at birth they could fit in your hand, but later grew enormously. But long ago, something changed forever. A huge meteorite fell from the sky and caused a huge explosion. The sky filled with dust, the sun's rays couldn't penetrate, and the plants began to die. With less food, the dinosaurs began to disappear. Thus ended the era of these great animals. Although dinosaurs are extinct, scientists, called paleontologists, have found their bones buried in the ground. These bones, which over time turned into stone, are called fossils. Thanks to them, we can learn what they looked like, what they ate, how they walked, and even how they roared. 
Today you can see dinosaur skeletons in museums, play with plastic figures, read stories, or watch movies featuring these prehistoric animals. They continue to teach us new things every day, and many children dream of becoming scientists to continue discovering them. Well, my friend, I hope you enjoyed this trip to the world of dinosaurs. If you want to keep learning amazing things, remember to like the video and subscribe. I'm Diego, and in the next episode, we'll travel to another fascinating moment in history. See you next time.